Hello everybody, welcome to Merit Assembly this week. I've got Mrs Webb with me as well. So uh, we thought we'd share a screen this week so that um, Mrs Webb could be part of the assembly with all of us. So we'll find out. There we go. So we're gonna find out who's got the certificates this week. And we're starting with Sapphire class. Love the pictures of the work, thank you for that. Daniel, for the core value of respect by always having excellent manners and having a great attitude towards his school and his learning. Rafe, for the core value of perseverance by continuing to work on his handwriting daily, well done. And home learner is Remus for the core value of positivity by completing his home learning diligently and reading lots of books whilst at home, well done Remus. Good to be green, lots of those today. Archie, Marissa, Daniel, Austin, Harry, Rafe, Nathan, Bentley, Julia and Dakota, well done. H2O, Jamie for showing the, the value of aspiration by ensuring that he included the key features of a diary entry in his writing. Mason for the core value of perseverance by pushing himself in his learning and making multiple connect connections to prior learning, well done. And Harley who's doing his learning at home for the value of perseverance by completing some fabulous Viking home learning and his reflection of the school year. It's been really good to see some of your reflections from home and um, at school of the last school year, so thank you for doing those. Good to be green is Camilla, Finley, Jamie, Olivia, Tom, Oliver, Lexi, Evie, Mason and Jaden. And some children have reached their 20 days of green, which is fantastic. Tom, Jamie, Camilla, Olivia and Mason. Aqua, Oliver, for showing aspiration, presenting an engaging and powerful speech with a fantastic published outcome. And Riley, aspiration, presenting a faultless and engaging speech and a fantastic written outcome. It's been really good. I've, I've heard a couple of the speeches being recorded as I've been going along the corridors um, and they've sounded fantastic. And you, you look so confident when you're being filmed. Um, good to be green is Kaya, Madison, Oliver, Luca, Erin, Sophie, Elissa, and Jamie. Well done. Smurfs, we've got Lily May for showing the core value of aspiration by putting 100% effort into her non chronological report based on volcanoes. Alex for showing the core value of perseverance by trying his best when solving tricky fraction problems in maths this week. And good to be green. Yasin, Bethany, Amelia, Alex, Joshua, Lily May, Courtney, and Ryan. Well done to all of you. Sonic. Um, merits for, oh, Sonic class, all of you, for showing the core value of perseverance by all persevering in their maths learning this week, where we've been looking at simplifying fractions using the common factor. Well done. I'm impressed. I, I find fractions tricky. <coughs> uh, Sam, for showing the core value of positivity by having a positive attitude to his art this week and persevering when drawing, drawing his lemon using oil pastels for the first time. Some of those have been stunning, haven't they? Yeah, that drawing yeah. is gorgeous. Um, Joshua, for showing the core value of aspiration by ensuring that he included the key features of a diary entry in his first draft of his final outcome. He worked hard to remember the concept of show, don't tell within his description of how he was feeling. Well done. Home learner, Arjun, for showing the core value of perseverance and pos positivity by taking ownership and having a positive attitude towards his learning and sharing it each week. Um, good to be green is Connor, Kaylee, Samuel, Abby and Christian. And some more people who've got to 20 days, this is great. Riley, Nicola, Oliver, Gracie, Jude and Alessio. Well done. Oh, and that was the end of the blue family. So we now need to cheer for them. Let's have a big cheer for them. Three, two, one. Lovely. Well done, and we'll find out mustard family now. Mustard custard, oh, the whole of mustard custard bubble, that's not easy to say, <laughs> for showing the core value of positivity and perseverance throughout our two sports days. They showed a tremendous amount of positive support to their classmates and tried their hardest in all of the events. Um, so that's good to be green for Christian, Leo S, Toby, Jacob, Leo R, Pento, uh, Mia, Leonia, Bethany and Joseph. Well done. Dortmund, nice photo. <laughs> like the photo. 
Shift for the core value of positivity by having a fantastic attitude to all the event, events for Sports Day this week. Well done. Sky for the core value of perseverance by never giving up in our Sports Day events this week. Well done. And a home learner, Marcelli, for the core value of aspiration by writing a brilliant end of year reflection for his time in year five. Well done. And we've got some good to be greens, Ethan, Liam, Erin and Jasmine. Bananas. Susanna for her positive attitude to all her learning this term and Ronnie for his fantastic effort this week in Sports Day. Uh, and that's Malakith at home for learning how to play the glockenspiel. Wow, and read music. Well done. Good to be green, Susanna, Jack, Ronnie, Caitlin, Luthien, Natalie, Shay, Annabelle, Owen and Harrison. SpongeBob, oh, another teacher in action photograph, lovely. <laughs> Natalie D for positivity, for writing and performing an amazing speech with some extremely positive rules. Lily, positivity, for adapting well to our routines in school and partaking in matured discussions during our RSE and transition sessions. Team SpongeBob, positivity, for showing incredible sportsmanship during our year six socially distanced sports day and cheering on each other and the other bubbles. Lovely. Um, good to be green is Ben, Lily, Nathan, Femi, uh, Arian, Stanley, Lauren, Elizabeth, Reese, and Natalie. And minions. Um, Joe for aspiration, performing an amazing lockdown speech. He was truly persuasive, potentially the future Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Charlie M, respect, always being respectful, generous, and supportive, no matter what the circumstance. Mr. Connor. Aspiration. The children have given Mr. Connor this because he has had high expectations of us when filming our speeches. Some would compare him to Steven Spielberg. Well done, <laughs> Mr. Connor. Um, good to be green. Flavio, Oliver, Finley, Joe, Sarah, Brooke, Charlie, Shannon, Tiana and Megan. Well done to all of you. Call McCrew. Um, Remy for showing the core value of aspiration by challenging himself when writing our new rules manifesto and for showing great sportsmanship during sports day, great work. Callum for showing the core value of perseverance by continuing to push himself in his writing, resulting in amazing outcomes, well done. And good to be green. Callum, Job, Remy, Phoebe, Finley, Charlie, Nathaniel and Olivia. And that was the end of the Yellow family. So let's have a big cheer for them, please. Three, two, one. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Amethyst. Uh, Toby for showing honesty by owning up to a consequence when Mr. Gosnell had forgotten and having a great first week back at school. That's brilliant, Toby. Well done. Ryan for showing respect by supporting classmates when they needed it, even when he didn't realise the adults were watching. That's the best thing about that, that sentence, that you did it even though you weren't being watched. Well done. Um, home learner, Alfie, for showing positivity when agreeing with mum when and where he would go out with her and doing some parts independently. Well done. Good to be green this week is Ryan. Well done. Great-tastic. I love the artwork. That's absolutely fantastic. Congratulations to all the children for their aspiration to produce their final outcome in art. They have worked hard on each individual aspect throughout this term and it really shows. Would you believe they could turn out this well? I think it's fantastic. Well done. Home learner Samara for learning about the life cycle of the frog. And thanks for share, sharing a photo of one of the new frogs. Mm. I'd like to see that. Um, good to be green is Woody, Holly and Lorena. And that was the end of the purple family. So we need a huge cheer for them, please, so they can hear them in the bridge. Three, two, one. Yay, marvellous. Uh, this is our last family, isn't it? Red family. Dawn Sophie for aspiration for her excellent editing of the first draft of her speech to create ownership on the listener for their actions and suggesting insightful solutions to the problems raised. Lorna, that's positivity and honesty, for her independent thinking and questioning this week during class discussions. And we've got Connor, who's working at home, on aspiration for his extracurricular activities at home in addition to his learning in school, especially his efforts with fixing a tractor. Wow, that sounds very clever. Um, 
Good to be green. Lorna, Patsy, Madison, Charlie, Sophie, Erin, Ollie, Madison, Aidan, and Aisha. Fantastic. Ruby, that's um, Patrick M for perseverance in his diary writing. Christopher for perseverance in art when creating the background for his final piece of work. And we've got Hadi who's learning at home for perseverance by creating a range of art using whatever materials he has at home. Sounds great. Good to be green. We've got Riley, Christopher, Chloe, Arjun, Emma, Patrick B, Patrick M, Jordan and Hannah. Well done to all of you. So we will um, have a huge cheer for the Red family, please. Oh, no, no. Much louder, please. Three, two, Three, two one. That's better. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot my three, two, one. Sorry about that. And we've got a special message from um, Miss Haggerty because um, you've all had a wonderful sports day. So well done to all the students and class teachers who participated in the socially distant sports day for year six. Thank you for your part in making sure it was a memorable one. It's been absolutely wonderful seeing you interact, cheer and compete with others, as well as enjoy yourselves across those two days. It's what makes it worth all the effort. And I have to say, Miss Haggerty has worked extremely hard. She's carried everything out, carried everything in. She's done all the organisations. So thank you very much. I think she should have a cheer. Three, two, one. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, I did tinker with your um, page, Miss Haggerty. I don't know whether you're listening, but um, because we felt we'd do it and see if we could get things to come up bit by bit. So um, here we go. The results are as follows. Seventh place was Dawn. Sixth place was Minions. Fifth place was Dortmund. I can't remember who was first now, so it's very exciting. <laughs> um, fourth place, Aqua. Okay, let's see who the big three. Former crew, well done. Third place to you. Joint second, <laughs> bananas and mustard custard. So that means SpongeBob are in first place. I think we should give SpongeBob and everybody actually a huge cheer. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm just going to press. So there you go. So you will get your name in the trophy cabinet. I have just <laughs> seen something um, pop up on the chat. So I'm going to see if I can find that now. Hold on a second. Oh, that's well done to everybody. Well done, SpongeBob, says the Minions. Yeah. And well done, everyone, says Mustard Custard. So that's great. Thank you for those messages. Okay. I think where we go. It's not going to play ball with me now. There we go. So... Look at that, all of year six and the teachers would like to thank Miss Haggerty for her hard work in organising Sports Day and a thank you to all the adults involved in cleaning and setting everything up. Here is a merit for Miss Haggerty to say thank you. <laughs> That's great. That's really good. So positivity, putting together an amazing Sports Day for year six this week. The children loved it. Brilliant. So thank you everybody for all your hard work this week. Um, thanks to all the grown-ups who've participated in all the sport and and if you weren't involved in that, if you were just working with the children in the classrooms, thank you to you. But also thank you to any of the staff who are playing sort of backroom roles at the moment. If they're not with a group of children, I know there's lots of grown-ups that are working really hard for jobs that do, do matter and are really important, helping with getting all your reports ready, children, because we'll be sending those out next week. So we need to thank all the staff who are working in the background, not just in classrooms. So thank you to all of you. Have a great weekend and uh, I will look forward to seeing you all next week. Take care. Bye.